Hey everybody, Brian Zane here. This past week I got these two boxes in the mail. One is Pro Wrestling Loot, one is Lucha Loot. You know I've done unboxing for these guys for the last several months now. You know my shtick with this. Uh, since I got these so close together, I didn't get a chance to open them individually. Rather than spam you guys with two separate unboxing videos, I'm just gonna lump them all into one thing. So you'll see what came in this month's boxes for both companies in one video. So enjoy. So I'm opening the Pro Wrestling Loot Box first, guys, and the first thing out of the box I see is this really awesome Hayabusa mask. This is really cool. I love uh, the sheen here and the gold on the side and the different colors. Um, this is awesome. I love this mask. This is one of my favorite masks I've gotten in any of my boxes. Uh, of course, Hayabusa, the recently departed uh, legend of Japanese wrestling. So yeah, this is a really cool way to kick off this box. This is really cool. A nice little retro blast from the past. This is a WWF, and this is legit, from WWF era. This is 1991, according to uh, the mark at the back of this. A cool little collector pin. And uh, you can see here, it's got Hulk Hogan on this one. Now, I think the pin changed from box to box, according to the information I got. Like, every person gets a different pin. So this is really cool. A nice, like, it's a 25-year-old WWF Hulk Hogan pin. That's really cool. In the box are a couple of SoCal Pro related items. Of course, like I mentioned before, SoCal Pro is an indie fed based in Oceanside, California. First is the nine year anniversary DVD. And then there's this really cool eight by 10. I'm actually Mike Camden and SoCal Crazy looks to be for the title in a steel cage. Up next in the box is this really cool tribute piece, The Ultimate Warrior. Uh, it was drawn by Gary Yap, who you've seen his artwork in previous installments of Pro Wrestling. This is a really cool piece of work. Next couple of items in this month's box, you get the uh, Pro Wrestling Loot Illustrated uh, Collector's Card. This month it's of Roddy Piper, and I swear to God, bro, you're going to appreciate this, bro. It's an autographed 8x10, bro, of the creative genius behind WWF and WCW, bro. Creative genius Vince Russo. I swear to God, bro. Finally, folks, in the Pro Wrestling Loot box, this little packet of paper right here, it looks unassuming on the outside, but this has to be one of the coolest collector's items I could possibly think of for a wrestling fan. This right here is a format sheet for an episode of WCW Nitro from 1998, uh, December 21st, 1998. And uh, it's got everything from the pre-show stuff, Wildcat Willie doing the warm-up, to every like piece of video they're gonna roll uh, from beginning to end, how, how long matches are, how long pre-tape packages are. Um, this is so super cool. Now obviously it's not like an original, this is like a printout or a Xerox or something, but still like the fact that these things still exist and these were given out in this month's box of Pro Wrestling. Look, this is super cool. It's like backstage, Ric Flair with Four Horsemen look for Eric Bischoff. Outside NWO locker room, Ric Flair with Four Horsemen find Horse and Vincent, attack them. It's just a note by note, blow by blow account of a single episode of Nitro. How cool is this? All right, so now I'm opening up the Lucha Loot box for this month. It's a deluxe crate for me, as per usual. And this month's deluxe shirt, it's different if you have a standard box, but this month's deluxe shirt is of Ray Horace, who previously wrestled as El Io de Rey Mysterio and is now also known as Dragon Azteca Jr. So yeah, this is the shirt uh, for the month. So check it out, I get two masks this month. One from Pro Wrestling Loot, the Hayabusa mask, and then this month's Lucha Loot mask is of Viano, uh, AKA OG Viano, according to the information slip here. So as you know, there's a huge family of Vianos, and uh, this is one of them. This month's 8x10 in the Lucha Loot box is of Lince Dorado, who I have learned is gonna be featured in the Cruiserweight Classic on WWE Network, which is really cool. Unfortunately, it looks like something else in this box caused some uh, bit of damage, some of the ink on that object wore off on this 8x10. So that's uh, that, that the breaks. Sticker! And of course, the latest issue of Rudo Can't Fail, the English language Lucha Libre magazine. This month's centerfold is Phoenix. Ooh! Now I'll show you the things you can only find in the deluxe box for this month. First of all is the Rudo's Lucha Libre Gym drawstring bag. This mouse pad advertising Master Public, which is the company that owns Lucha Lute, which is fortunate too, because I need a new mouse pad. A postcard of a watercolor painting of Mil Muertes from Lucha Underground. And this month's DVD is of Absolute Intense Wrestling's uh, Gauntlet for the Gold event from March of this year in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, the DVD advertises guys like Eddie Kingston, Alex Shelley, Pentagon Jr., Ethan Page, Zack Sabre Jr., the Dick Justice and Missy Hyatt wedding. That sounds interesting. Uh, this just sounds like a really cool, I mean, it's kind of a who's who of indie wrestling happening here in this AIW show. This is a really cool find. 
And that was this month's Lucha Loot and Pro Wrestling Loot boxes opened together as one uh, this month. That was really cool to do uh, one time. I loved both of them, but I really liked Pro Wrestling Loot this month. They really brought it with um, the uh, collector's pin from, from all the way back from 91. Uh, I love the format sheet from Nitro. That is such a cool item because, you know, if you're like me and if you like to collect wrestling memorabilia, you like to think outside the box beyond just like DVDs and action figures and shirts. You know, there's other cool little things you can collect and like, how often do you see someone, you know, how in your collection, a copy of like a format sheet from a nationally televised wrestling event? That is so cool. Uh, so that's the highlight for me for this month, for both boxes, really. Now, if you're interested in buying either of these boxes and subscribing, Pro Wrestling Loot is $20 a month plus shipping, and that's a flat rate, $20. There's no different price points for that one. You can go to ProWrestlingLoot.com for more information on that. Lucha Loot starts at $20, but the deluxe box is a little more expensive, and of course, shipping is added on top of that. But then you get different kinds of shirts and things like that, and more items if you have the deluxe box. Uh, so there you go. For that, you go to LuchaLoot.com. And for both of these websites, if you want to sign up for one or the other or both, use the promo code ZANE at checkout. You get 10% off your very first box. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment below, subscribe to Wrestling With Regret, and buy the t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com. I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.